you know, hope is a great um, idea, right? But underneath, it's not universal and it's laid with fear. And, you know, there's, it's interesting actually, because as I'm feeling into it and I'm sharing it with you, there's a huge essence of abandonment and hope, right? It's this feeling of somebody else let me down. The universe let me down, right? And that's really what, when you focus on, on hope and you focus on using it to create your future and, and your foundation, right? For what you're creating in your future, you're setting yourself up to feel let down and to be let down. You know, you're going to attract people. You're going to partner with people who are also hopers. And I can tell you, you know, I've used hope at many times in my life for all different things, you know, in my career, in my relationships, in my finances, never, ever, ever does it work. It's never worked once. The only thing that has ever worked is action. Taking action towards the things that I want. But you can't expect to go from the foothills, like not even being on the foothills, right? From the valley to the top of the mountain overnight. The mountain is the goal. And every day you get closer. And sometimes you're going to go down a little bit to come back up. But the fact is you're moving towards what you want. And you're learning every single step of the way. And this is what we do. We make choices and we make decisions. So we have experiences and we create these experiences. And as you're having them, you're learning. You're learning, wow, that was a great decision. It got me so much closer to my goal. That one took me further away. Okay. So we don't want to do that one again, but what if we shift it? Sometimes you're going to shift it. Sometimes it's going to be awesome. And sometimes it's not, it's not, it's not going to be awesome. But as long as you learn from it and don't get lost in the hopelessness that nobody's supporting me, I can't do anything right. Those are, they're carpets and I've used them. I've used them many times when I'm feeling sorry for myself and I don't want to take, I don't want to take action. I don't want to take responsibility that I need to be the one that's going to get me to my goals. Right. It's, it's a huge dynamic, actually. It's really interesting because religion itself has, has created this dynamic. And it's funny, I was reading this book this morning and um, it talks so much about how it was, it was talking about the person in the book and how much he praised God and um, you know, how much he, he's spreading the word of God and how he loves that, you know, God is in everyone and God is great. And, you know, I'm a huge proponent of the creator. I have such an incredible relationship with him. And I understand that his intention is not for everyone to go around thinking he's great because the moment you do that, you're holding him accountable for your own life. And what he wants you to understand is your life is a reflection of who you choose to be every day. He wants you to recognize your greatness, not his greatness, because it's not about him. Your life is about you. Because when we carry this dynamic that it's a reflection of someone else's greatness, then we have someone to blame. We have someone to be angry at. And the reality is your soul, the universe, the creator, God, Jesus, everyone, they're all there. They're all waiting for you. It's not their job to do it for you. It's your job. They'll help you. They'll help you see the right path. They'll help you. And if, if, if things, if, if things don't go well, it's not because they said you had to go in that direction. It's because they knew you needed that experience in order for you to change your belief system. And that's what this is all about, right? If your belief system is based on hope, your life will never change. But if your belief system becomes based on 
who you are and what you're capable of, anything becomes possible.